Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can design your own form. So what I've got is the table customers. If I open that, you can see these customers. I want to create a form and adjust it myself. So I've got a form already, this one. So that is nice, but I want to do it myself from scratch and show you how to do that. So this has been done by using the wizard. If I close that one down, this is how you do it. You click on create and you go to form design. Straight away, that puts you into the design area of the form. You can make this page a little bit bigger by grabbing the corners like that. Now, normally the property sheet would not be open. On the ribbon on the right, you have the property sheet. If I open that up, at the moment, this form is not attached to any table. So you have to tell it which table to look at. So that's what I'm going to do there. So it's the customer table that I want. This one, customers. Once I've done that, I can close this down and open up the field list. And there you have all the fields that are pertaining to that table. Now it's just a case of bringing these on. So if I click on the top one, and then hold my shift key down and click on the bottom one. All of these are selected here can I, and I can drag and drop them onto this, but I don't need to go too close to the margin because there's gonna be a label coming out. So if I let them go there, you can see how they sit. Now at the moment, they're all together as a group, so I can adjust them as a group. I just do that by getting a hold of one of these little lines you can see what I mean so this is very similar to what happens if you just click on the form option in the create tab it puts a thing like this it's in layout view but this is not in layout view because these can be adjusted individually if I pick off them and then click and drag and pick them up like that now you can see these two large squares in the top left hand corner one on the label this is the label and then the field that allows you to sit your mouse on top of that rectangle or that square, should I say, and move it on top of the field like so. And I click away and then pick that up and move that like so. So you can just adjust these and push them wherever you want. So customer ID is only a number, so it's not going to be that long. So I probably want to bring that in a little bit like so. And then you can position that to where you want it to be. So let's just put this up to the top there. Now, first name and surname, these I want these on top of each other as well. So I'll just I'll just move that one up. I missed that one. Get onto the, the square, put it on top. Like so. Make sure it's lined up. So if you're not clicked on the um actual square, you're gonna end up moving the whole thing like that. So I'm not got that lined up very well at all. It's a little bit better. And then you can position that to wherever you want it to go. So that's basically what you do with the form that you want to create. You just move things around and get them all nice and neat. And obviously I'm doing this fairly quickly, so I'm not getting them all nice and neat. Um, but you get the idea, hopefully, how you do this. Now you might be saying, yourself, saying to yourself there that this is a bit of a long-winded process. Why don't I just use the wizard? Now the wizard, I, th I think, is quite useful for small forms. But quite often in databases, you have quite large forms that are looking at a lot of data and the wizard tends to truncate everything. So by doing it like this, you make it a little bit better. It does actually take a long time though. Now, if you want to move a big chunk of this, so I've, done, I've just done those three. I might want to make the company name a bit longer than that, to be honest, because it could be a bit longer. I'm going to highlight over these. So I've grabbed those as a group and then I can just move them as a block like so i don't want to do them on top of each other like that the address probably would be longer than that as well city is probably okay everything else is probably okay you can come back and adjust it later on now at the top here you've got some tools we're on the controls area you've got format where you can format what you're looking at or where you clicked if i click on the grid area go for the paint pot that's grey, a bit dark that one. Let's go for light green. 
No. The colour you pick has to be not intrusive on people's eyes. Because people will be using this form all the time. So that's okay. Now the boxes themselves, if I highlight all of the boxes, I can do that at the moment by doing Control A. If I click on the screen, Control A. I could do a colour for them, which hopefully doesn't go a bit... That's not too bad. Get away with that. It's nice and easy to see. What you have to keep doing though is going to form design and having a look at what you've done. Because that's the end product sitting there. So it's all sitting a bit towards the top. So I might come back down into design and do control A again and move them down a bit like so and then have a look. Okay, that's all right. Now, when you're adjusting things, these these boxes, the, the labels and the, the field, you might mess up what's called the tab order. So the tab order, if I just close this down on the right, is basically where your cursor goes when you press your tab key. So I'm going to purposely mess this up. If I click off this for a minute, let me put the this customer ID field down the bottom there. First name, should I say? Down the bottom there. Now, if I go into the form, I'm on the ID number. If I press tab, it jumps down here. Press tab again, it jumps back up there, and so on and so on. That's the tab order. I'll go back into design. If you don't have that right, it can cause people to have stress moments because the cursor will be going to places on the screen that they're not expecting. So if you have moved all this around, you need to go into the tab order box over here and make sure that the thing is in the right order. So in this example, I would be pulling that to the bottom, like so. So it would then tab to surname and then down through all of these and lastly that. But I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to cancel that and then push, push this back up to the top where it belongs. Now, if I just highlight all of this again, Control A, or you can do that. On the Arrange tab, you've got these options, Stacked and Tabular. I'm going to click on Stacked. And you see what that does. So that looks um, like a form that would have been created if you just clicked on the icon under Create. So I'll click on that. So if you click on that icon, it basically does this. It's put this inside a table. And if I go back to Arrange, you can see that. And it's now got this Remove Layout option. To get back, I could do Undo or I can click on that. And it's got me back to where I was. However, it's all messed up. I am going to do undo, control Z, control Z back to how I was. That's how I was initially, so I'm okay with that. So that's something you, you want to play around with. If you if you want to put it as tabular, it goes along across the top. Again, that sometimes can totally mess up your form design. It's totally up to you how you want to do that. You can insert images on several parts of your form. If you've got background image, or if you've gone to insert image here you can select an image from a gallery or you can browse for an image i'll pick that one and basically it just wants you to draw the image there so that's going to sit on your form then you have a look at your form and then you see that it's in the way so you'll have to move that a little bit so i'll just go back into design and bring that down a bit see what happens now let's have a look okay so you've got a nice little image there go back into design I'll delete that one off because you can also have, have an image as part of the form itself. So if I go to the format area, you've got background image. So I'll pick the same one. And then that sort of goes behind and it goes centered. Now, if I make sure I'm on the form and go back to form design and the property sheet, go to property sheet, what you can do is make sure that's on form you're looking for the image the picture and there's the picture there and you can see it's aligned center and it's clipped so if i change that to stretch see what happens you've got all these other options in there as well so now you see the form like that i'll just close this down for a second have a look at your form keep having a look at your form all right it's a good picture but it's not really 
it's a bit overwhelming in terms of looking at that and using that as a form. So I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm going back into design. Just going to do Control Z to get rid of that and that one. So that's images if you want to put them in there. You've also got an option for a logo and a title and date and time as well in your header and footer group here. I'll click on logo. It's going to let me pick a picture. Um, I'll pick the same one. It now gives me a header area and it gives me some where to type. If I want to put title, it just makes that active. So I would put um, customer details for this as a title for the form. Customer details. Now the color is slightly different. If I go into form view, you can see that. It's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I could change it to green if I wanted to. Come back into design. And the other thing you've got there is date and time. And it'll basically give you the options of selecting a date time format, whichever one you want. I'll just leave it as that. And it puts it on the right hand side there. You need to go back in to have a look. That's okay. That works. Come back out into design. And just notice this. This is set in layout mode. Remember on a range. You'd have to break that off if you need to adjust this and move this text box out of the way. And these are sitting on the right hand side there, the right aligned in these quite large text boxes. You see them there, they're quite big. You'd, they're not doing any harm at the minute, but on your form, they might. So what I'm going to do with this is I haven't saved this form. I'm going to save this as, um, yep, I'm going to call it FRM my design so i'm proud of it my design and then click ok to that and then it'll sit down there with the other one that's one i've done that's what the computer created there's no comparison in which is the best that one obviously now joking aside you do have to spend quite a bit of time getting this looking nice it has to be user friendly though that's the key that you make this user friendly so it's easy to input data remember you're using this to input data to in this case that table and it's got to be easier than just typing it there as a, as a spreadsheet so that's all i want to talk about on this little video how you can design your own form